Hi everyone. My name is Lisa Milady. I'm an elementary school guidance counselor and I'm also a children's book author. And today I have a video and we're going to be talking about fairness. Now, when we think about fairness, to me, three things come to mind. One, playing games. Two, things being equal. And three, a wonderful word called equity. Equity meaning everyone gets what they need. So let's think about fairness, playing games, equal, and equity. Let's start with playing games. Now, boys and girls, I have three friends. Woohoo! They're going to be playing a game. Remember, playing a game is supposed to be fun. Sometimes we come to school and we're lucky. We have recess with our friends or our teachers will play games so we can practice spelling our words or practice our math facts. And we want people to enjoy. It should be a good experience. So fair doesn't mean you focus on who's the winner. Fair means that everybody who's playing agrees on the rules. Fairness means not only do you understand what the rules are, but fairness means you follow the rules. And when you're playing, to be fair, you want to be encouraged, encouraging to everyone. Everyone on both sides, your side, their side, me against them. We want to encourage everybody and tell them you can do your best. To be fair, we want to cheer everybody on. Way to go. Even if they make a mistake, even if someone has a hard time doing it, you tell them you can do it. We encourage people to be fair. And remember, if you are agreeing on the rules, encouraging people, cheering everyone on. It's all about having fun. Truthfully, when you play, there's usually one winner. But if everybody is fair and does all of these things, everybody's a winner. We want people to have fun and be fair whenever we are playing games. The other type of fair is making sure that everyone is equal. Because in school, in school, we have the same for everyone. This is my school. And you can see that some people are feeling sad and some people are feeling happy. And our, in school, our goal is to make sure that everybody is feeling happy and one person is not allowed to hurt other people. Because if one person hurts people, then pretty much everybody's going to be sad. So in school, we make sure that everyone gets what they need so everyone can feel happy. And do you know what we need in school? First, everybody needs to feel safe. So in order to feel safe, we're going to give everybody an understanding of the safety rules and how we keep each other safe. That's equal. Everybody gets the same. The other piece is we want people to feel peaceful. When you are safe, you feel good about where you are. Peaceful is feeling fine and you have to be feeling fine to learn. So we give everyone peaceful feelings. And what did I just say? We all come to school to learn. We have teachers that teach everyone and everyone gets a chance to learn in school. This is equal. In school, you will all make sure that everybody feels safe. In school, we'll make sure that everyone is feeling peaceful and everyone is going to have a chance to learn. This means equal, the same for everyone. That's how we make sure that everybody gets what they need. 
But there was a third word I talked about, and it was called equity. Equity is not equal where everybody gets the same. Equity means that everybody gets what they need. Let's say this line of hearts is where we want everyone to be so that they feel important, they feel belonging. Everyone needs to feel belonging in the school. Everyone, we want everybody to feel special. You are unique and wonderful just the way you are. And we want everyone to feel like you can do anything. Feel positive. All of these feelings is what we want everyone to feel. Feel important, feel belonging, feel special, and feel like you can do anything. And guess what? Some people, they come to school and guess what? They already feel important. They already feel belonging. They already feel special and they already feel like they can do anything. And that's excellent. But then there's people that come to school and maybe they're not feeling that great. And then there's other people that come to school and they're really not feeling any of those things at all. They need a lot of help. So in school, we have whoop, whatever help you need to feel the same as everyone else. It's okay if you are feeling different. It is okay if you are different and you need more help getting to the same goal. Here's where we want everyone to be. So teachers are going to give some kids, let's say this, person needs one, two, they need one more, one, two, three pieces of help to get where they need. This person needed zero, this person needed three, and this person will get what they need too. I'm looking for some fun colors because you know me, I love fun colors. Let's count how many this person needs. One, two, three, four, and five. This person needed nothing. They felt important, they felt belonging, they felt special, and they felt like they could do anything. They didn't need anything. This person needed three, and that's okay. This person needed five, and that's okay. Because here in school, to make sure we have equity, we have so much we can give all day long. So boys and girls, let's remember fairness. We play fair, and we are all winners when we agree on the rules and we are encouraging and we cheer everyone on and we have fun. Everyone gets what they need. We will equally give what you need to everyone. And remember, equity means that people get what they need. These were three different ways to look at the word fairness. And I hope you remember them all because being fair makes you a wonderful friend and a great learner in school. Thanks so much. Hope you liked it.